Hello everybody, it's a pleasure to be here. So, for who don't know me, I'm Fabio from Sirius I. I'm one of the founders. Uh, I actually was a founder for five minutes. I'm gonna explain it later. It is a very cool project we are doing. It's called Seed of Zion. The reason I'm here is to close ties with the Chinese community. So we are looking for more people to do more development. And this is an invite for you all. So this is the agenda. I try to clarify how is our contribution process. Because many people every day ask us, uh, how can I contribute? How can I join Seed of Zion? So anyone can so join Seed of Zion. And that should be clear here. We're going to have a QA time at, at the end, so this should be on, on the streaming, so you guys can ask, and everybody can. Hello? So, and after that, everybody can have the same questions reply. So, so City of Zion, we call it COS. So, COS community is global. Right now, we are majorly from the Western, so people all around the Western, like, uh, Germany, Switzerland, US, UK. But there's also people here on the other side. So there's people in Japan, Korea, Singapore, and I hope more Chinese now. So we are not a corporation. We are actually a real open source community. So everything we do is open source, but it, we do it only for new. Our goal is to drive new as much as we can. So the way you join us is you enter in slack.seedofzion.io, you start talking with us, then you are in. You can look at our code. Our code is open source MIT license because one of the main reasons we are doing this is to lay the foundations that other people can build business on top of blockchain. So the smart economy vision that Tony presented beautifully here is amazing concept, but for this to be reality, we need to do a lot of work. So we are trying to get our builders, we are trying to get engineers to do that. We are a group that is losing control. So we have a, a council which formed by nine people, and these people oversight the community. Many people here uh, is missing from this slide because it was not possible to include everybody. These are only people who have been rewarded for their work, who has contributed code. And there's people here who translated, who did design everything. So if you can join, how you do this. So we have a contribution process, which is really streamlined. And uh, I will try to spend a little more time on this. So the way you do is you join the Slack design, then you go to the develop channel. There you're gonna say, oh, I'm doing something cool. Let me participate. You're going to say, yeah, just do it. As soon as you do it, put on GitHub with an open source license. We have a team of people that are going to review our code. They, they're going to complain. It's not easy to, to get a set it. Then after your open source code is, is good, we're going to release it as a Seed of Zion product and gather you and say, join us. So you're going to put you inside our GitHub organization. And there you can create new projects. You can fully realize your vision. Then after you do that, after your code is up in the organization, we're going to reward you. The way we reward people is through NEO. So NEO Council actually is funding our organization. And we actually channel this distribution of these tokens back to the community. So we have some, some rules. So can you come back one slide? No, back. Yeah. So we have 12 rules how we govern the, um, the community. So these rules are basically that. There is a council. It's formed by nine people, the people I showed in the previous slides. And from this council, four people are the high council. Uh, currently, there is no separation inside the council. All these guys are rulers of the community. But the high council should um, host the keys from the Mutsig wallet. Um, any, any, any member from the COZ Council can be in the High Council, there is a voting. So everything we do for distribution, we open a spreadsheet and put this user contributed. And everyone in the Council is going to vote from 1 to 10 how much this contribution is available. And th that's basically it. 
we have a, a single wallet that where you hold the funds and this fund is gets distributed. So the idea is to be very lean because you can move fast. By moving fast, we can add people fast. Just three months ago, we are four people. Now we are 27 in the organization. And in the Slack, it's almost 7,000 people. So it, we can grow faster like this, and it ha has been working. We still have a lot of room to grow. So I will try to, to show a little bit the projects that we are running there. So some of these projects are more important than the other because they are a foundation layer. So you can do two things to contribute. You can join one of these projects and submit your code, or you can create new projects for us to review. So the first one is very popular. It's called the new own wallet. So the new own wallet is a light wallet right now, but this is just, just the beginning. This wallet is going to be also a full node. So it's going to be a hybrid. So as soon as you download the new one wallet, different from any blockchain you have out there, you can start using it right now. You don't need to sync it. So this is very powerful because the next 3 billion people to come online, they're going to come online with, with smartphones and with poor connections. So they need something that's not heavy that you don't need to wait one week to, to sync. And that's Neon Wallet. Neon Wallet will be extended for something that we are calling NDE. NDE is the new developer environment. The new developer environment is a IDE, is a integrated development environment for doing smart contracts on top of new. This IDE is going to add JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, uh, all, all the codes out there. You can actually make any compiler, and we are doing these compilers uh, open source. So you can look at our compilers and, and add your own language. There are people in the community doing Go and Swift and other things. So there's related to Neon, there is Neon, Neo GS and Neo Python. So these are new, completely independent implementations of the new code. These implementations, they are being done not only for easing the developer, but also for security. So no single fail. So if there is a fail in Neo.js code, or if there is a fail in NeoPython code, they are not going to affect the main, the main version that's running in C Sharp. But if there is a, a, a failure in the C Sharp, it's not going to affect the GS or the Python. So by having three different implementations, it becomes much more secure as a network. So Neon Wallet is a lot more uh, GUI, is a visual thing. But be behind it, there is a library called Neon GS. And Neon GS is where we leave the API. So we make it available to everyone, the API. So you can use Neon GS to build your own wallet. So Example, you have an idea where you want to trade um, something privately and is built on top of, of new. Or you want to do your DAP application interact with some smart client. But you don't want your user to have to sync the full blockchain, so you can use Neon GS. Actually, there's a lot of people using Neon GS, all right. Every wallet you're seeing out there, like um, Neo Tracker, Neo Deus, uh, all these people, they are using this. So this vision of laying the foundation for other business is starting to happen right now. And I, I would say that if you are going to start a project, look at this one. There's tests and documentation there, so you can join. So a little farther in the future, there's the vision of Neo Scan. So Neo Scan, is not only a block explorer, it's also an explorer for smart contracts. Our idea here is to have something that can be working like an application store, an app store. So by using NeoScan, you'll be able to browse all the applications you have in your network. And NeoScan itself is like all other codes open source, but it's an umbrella application that should be packed and you can deploy in your own network. So if you are running a private network, be it to develop your application, be it to run your business, you can simply install NeoScan. And you have right made there an explorer for your smart contracts and your wallet. 
So uh, new Swift, let me go back. New Swift here, I put it here to show something. This is not originated from the Neo Conceal, the, the City of Zion Conceal. This is 100% made by outsider of the community that went there, contributed back there. So New Swift is a mobile version of Neon GS. And we now have a state-of-the-art mobile wallet that's for iOS called Ozone. And this is like organically born. This is what I want to see from the Chinese community by bringing you guys together with us. Can you move? Can you advance one slide? You <laughs> Sorry, guys. Too much technology, right? You know, this is suspense building because of the next slide I'm going to show the roadmap. And uh, all the guys in the internet want to know the roadmap. So they are DDoS attacking the, the computer. Can you go one slide? Hey, Fabio. Hey. Um, because you just say you have like seven thousand members in your Slack channel. Yeah. So do you guys run a separate Slack channel or you have a separate channel and then it's Neo? So uh, we actually run, we used to run a separate Slack channel, but the guys from Neo Conceal was very kind and now we are running the Neo Slack channel. So th this one is the main Slack channel if you want to interact with Neo. So we have many private channels there, but we have an uh, open developed channel. So that, that is the way you join. If you go to the Neo page and select there is Slack, it's going to be this one. So it's Analyst Neo? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Any other questions? So where are most of your developers located right now? Do you have a lot in China or in Asia? So we have some in Asia, mostly in Singapore and South Korea. We have a member of the Conceal, so we are nine in the Conceal. One of the Conceal lives in Japan. He's actually from the Netherlands, but is, is living in Japan. But most of our developers are in the US. We, we actually started this by translating and recoding Neo in English because it was really hard to have the communication going. But it is, I think it's over now. So it's really spread out. Yeah, so, so these are the, the before I was showing the projects that are on, <coughs> ongoing, you can board right now. These are something that we are planning to do. So it's also a good opportunity to enter in something that's brand new, because as an engineer, I imagine many of you are engineers also, so you want to have a say in the design, right? So these are things that you can have a say in the design. So we are actually building new tools to unit test, not only the projects, but to test the contracts itself. We have a integration test effort going. So what is this integration test going? Every time you go there in Slack, there will be people asking, how many transactions per second can you do? So uh, a really easy way to answer that is to have an integration test that the guy can download and run and see by himself. 
right? So this is the integration test. It's going to run many tests, many transactions, test all the features on the system itself. So it is a really cool project to join. And we are also building something for, for the ecosystem, which would be an integration pipeline. So as soon as uh, your code hits seed of Zion, it's going to be tested, it's going to run the integration test, and it's going to be deployed. So you don't need to be waiting for people to look at your code if it's proved to be correct by the test, right? So of course you are not doing uh, release from that because release is high stake, but your code is being integrated a lot faster. So also we have a new project that's really exciting that's a new C Sharp implementation from the ground up. Like new GS and new Python or new implementations, this is also a new implementation. Can, can you jump to the next one? So this is the new developer environment. New developer environment is built on top of Neon and Neon.js. So it's something dedicated to the developer. So again, where builders building tools. So this is going to have something where you can write your smart contract. It can be it in Python, in JavaScript, in C Sharp, compile, test, and debug everything in a single place. So th this is not only for interacting with testnet. We wanted this to be integrated with, with the other ones. So you can have your private network and develop on top of that, be it in your organization, be it in your startup, be it anywhere. If you want to make it public, you can, but there's, there's no need. So the roadmap, this is a tentative roadmap because this is about community building. So if you, one of you guys join us and you have an amazing idea, we are not going to turn it down. We're going to shift the, the roadmap, can they be longer, can be shorter, to accommodate good ideas. So we start with NeoPython. NeoPython is really already far ahead, is led by, by Local Human, which is a member of the Conceal. So we have smart contracts and a full node that should be finished this year. And after that, you're gonna add the ability to join consensus with this implementation. So again, the security part. And not only consensus, we want this to be production read. It is very popular to have backend applications writing Python. I imagine many of you guys use Django or Flask, something like this. So these frameworks you could use together with new Python and ruin your DAP application and having the, the blockchain by yourself in your server, you can then push Neon.js to your client and he can interact with the blockchain without downloading anything as a simple website. We're gonna do the same thing for Node.js. Node.js is going to be Neo.js. Then we're gonna do the NDE. And by the end of the year, we expected to have beta of all these three main projects. So in 2018, what we actually have is production ready. So we can iterate it, test it together with the community. But the idea is we are running DEPS competitions. And by next year, when we, ha we are in maybe the second DEPS competition, not announcing yet, but maybe, we can have all this ecosystem for running it. No. So we, we actually, I don't know how aware you guys are about the standards. So there are new enhancement uh, standards. They are called NEPs. So there's a special NEP called NEP, NEP5, which is for, uh, for having tokens running on the new blockchain. So we added support for the NEO wallet. And all this development in the NDA is going to be in the Neon wallet, so I'm shifting it. And by the beginning of next year, we want Neon wallet to be a Neon app view. So what is this? I don't know if you guys use it, Mist from, from Ethereum project. So Mist is a browser. So the idea is to have Neon as more than a wallet, as a browser also, so you can run the dApps there. So, Neo is come, 
we are adding NAP5 support also right now, so this should be completed in, in before November or even the beginning of November. After that, we are adding the smart contract discovery. So these are two fundamental components for the bigger vision that's having a new scan app store. Then, NEO2, our new implementation in C Sharp. So again, I'm born from the community. So this is a, a very groundbreaking, uh, ground laying um, roadmap. There's many things that are not there. So for example, there's no mobile here. And mobile is a very big part. But the thing is, if everything is follow this roadmap, you should expect uh, these mobile clients, these IoT clients to be happening at the same time. So this is something that you can expect as how the community is going to move, how the project is going to move, how everything is going to move. So 2017 is laying the foundations. And beginning of 2018, we want to have something that's production ready for DAPS. So talking about DAPS, we are running a competition. So how this works? It's very easy. We have a website you can join here, seedofdesign.io.deps.1. And this competition has 10 winners. Each winner will get 1,350 guests. So this is enough to deploy your, your application. And given the current price of gas, is enough to bootstrap your business. So it's, it's, it's not only enough to have the DAP there, it's enough to live a little bit from this debt. And we're going to do a portal for the winners. So by being a winner of Seed of Zion competition, you have a much bigger exposure than doing this by yourself. There, there are currently 19 dApps registered in the competition. We want this to be at least the double before the end. So we finish the registration by November 16. Yep, so by November 16 at midnight here, uh, lunch time in US, we're gonna close it. You can still join it. And there are about 53 people developing these dApps. So here there is an enough manpower to do many dApps and win many prizes. <laughs> <laughs>